Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan review. Today is a big one. Uh, we are going to be reviewing Drago from the first two seasons of Bakugan. So Battle Brawlers and New Vistroia. Um, this is a big one. This is an important one. There's a lot to cover here. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time talking about them, but there are definitely some of my favorites in this bunch. Uh, I'm going to be talking about pricing, rarity, um, and just general function and whatever in this review. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so starting off, we have a card as usual. Today is a Dragonoid card. Uh, all Dragonoids in this sector get double their base HSP value. Uh, yeah, so 250 to Chaos. So not specifically Pyrus, but nevertheless a cool card. All right, guys, first up is just regular old Pyrus Dragonoid. This is a B1. Not open core, unfortunately, um, but yeah. So I like taking a look at this guy. This is one of the most like classic and nostalgic Bakugan you can probably get. Um, if you're starting collecting, this is the first one I suggest you buy. Just because it's so nostalgic, it's so memorable, and overall really cool. Uh, yeah, so Drago has a couple manual parts. So he's got a horn and feet. And they pop out just like that. Right, and he's got all this like cool kind of like fire design, which is pretty nice. Um, it's very simple, but it does the job. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop him open. And I'll go ahead and do you guys a spin here. Um, I mean, just looking at him, he's just such a classic look. Like, I love it so much. Yeah, he's uh, 480 Gs, if you can see that. And yeah, I mean, just overall a really great Bakugan to have. I mean, he looks like a dragon. It's just, it's such a classic look. I can't stop saying it, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of nostalgia. I remember when I was a kid, I had to have this Bakugan. Yeah. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is, like, when you, after you've closed them up, which is very simple, and almost all the Dragos do, like, you close the wings and you lock the head in, which I really like. It's almost universal. But if you pop him open just like if you were playing or something and you pop him open, he kind of looks stupid like this. Like I feel like his horn should kind of pop out, um, which it doesn't. So like if you're actually like playing the game and you roll him, mine doesn't like to open very well. But um, yeah, I just think it looks kind of dumb. So I feel like you have to have the horn out or something just to like, I don't know, add some flair at least. But overall... Really solid Bakugan, very classic, I love him. This is a must have if you're collecting. Um, and then online, I think they go for like anywhere from 15 to like 25. If you go any higher than that, you're getting scammed. I think I got this one for 18 uh, with like a special like original Dragonoid card, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so that's what I got him for. All right, and up next is Drago's Evolution Delta Dragonoid. So this is a Pyrus Delta Dragonoid, and um, this is a B2. Everything else after this is B2. He's also heavy metal, so he's got this nice metal ring around him, which I'm in love with. I love heavy metal Bakugan. Um, yeah, so super cool. Got the Pyrus symbol there, and then um, he's got more of these designs. They're a bit more simplistic, but it does make up for it because it's got this like like nice lava rock look on the feet, which I love. Um, big fan of that. Then he's got this cool orange kind of going on his head right there, which is super awesome. So let's go ahead and pop him up. My favorite way to pop this guy open is uh, to spin him. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. And then feet come out as usual. That's the only manual parts on him. And I'll go ahead and do a spin. Yeah. So the one thing I love about this Drago is that they, they have like a, it, the horn auto deploys. So you don't have to like manually do it yourself. Love that. Um, and then also his eyes are blue and he's got this like cool mouthpiece right here that just like shakes I love it and then like just looking at him like directly It's got like almost like a snake head, which I think is super cool as well uh, Yeah So uh, mine does not have any G power. I looked everywhere when I bought it from the buyer the description said 480 G's but when I got him like there they were literally not there I mean, they're not on the wings, they're not on the body where they should be below the head, they're not kind of tucked in the feet anywhere, um, neither there, and this is legit Bakugan because there's the S slash S slash B markings there, if you can see that. Uh, so yeah, it is legit, um, I mean, it looks legit anyways, but yeah, so I don't know if it got scratched off by the previous owner or if it was a factory error and it just never had any, but uh, yeah. 
So kind of kind of cool, I guess. Cool story. And um, this is a heavy attack Bakugan, so it's a special attack. So it um, it has a higher chance of like knocking other Bakugan off the card in a game, which is pretty neat. Uh, yeah. And he closes up relatively easy. You just click the feet together and as usual, close the wings and then pop his head in. These guys sell for, I don't know, anywhere between like 25 and probably like 50. It really depends. This is a B2, so it's less rare. The B1s can get up to probably about 50 bucks. I think for this specific one, I spent about $25 on um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Super cool. This is one of my favorite Bakugan, by the way. Um, it's it's definitely up there and probably my second favorite of the Dragon line, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, up next is Infinity Dragonoid. So yeah, so a little bit of background on this one, um, if you're unfamiliar with the show. So in, in the original season, Drago has four evolutions. Drago, Delta Drago, uh, there's one more Drago that I can't remember the name of, and then Infinity Dragon Dragonoid. Um, so in in the sh in the toy line, um, they never released the third one, but they did release a fourth one. They released Infinity Dragonoid, but it looks like this instead of what it looks like in the show. And I'll like do some side by side comparisons. I'll actually move the card over here um, so that we can like I'll remember to lay it down so we can look at the similarities. Um, but yeah, so first off the bat, this is another heavy metal, which is really nice. Super big fan of that. They're just great to spin. Um, yeah, pirate symbol, cool yellow, which I'm a fan of. I really like the yellow. I guess this is meant to be like his horn. He doesn't really have a horn in the in this like version of him. But what I do like about him is there's no manual part, so he just deploys by himself. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and deploy him and then we'll kind of do a comparison to this version and then like the TV show version and just talk about it and stuff. So ready? Three, two, one. All right, so here is Infinity Dragonoid. Super cool Bakugan. Um, very different from like every other Drago there is, <laughs> kinda, which is super neat. Kind of disappointing he doesn't have like a horn that pops up, but I mean, I guess this yellow is supposed to be his horn. I'm not entirely sure, but it's whatever. It's also cool that there's no like manual part, so he deploys completely by himself. Uh, really neat. He's mostly red. He's got some nice like green look right there, and then blue. And then hopefully by now you've seen like a picture of the other Infinity Drago that's in the show to compare, saying they're completely different from what they normally, from what this looks like, uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, he's got 680 Gs here, so he's rather strong one of my strongest not quite all the way my strongest but super cool i had a tough time finding this guy online he took about three months of like dedicated searching and just waiting for someone to post one i bought him for 25 dollars. he can probably easily get closer to 45 50 at least in my expertise um not 100 percent sure but i do think he's worth more than 25 i just got a good deal on it um yeah you see a lot of darkest and occasionally an aquas uh, but this is like the only Pyrus one I have seen in like a lot of my searching. So if you find one online, consider yourself very lucky. Um, yeah, he's super cool. He's even got like like paint here. So he's got this like cool fiery wing stuff here as well as hands, which are nice. Um, and then like these, I guess these are supposed to be feet. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, he's really cool because he's so unique and just like different and he's hard to come by. So, I mean, he's up there. He's not my favorite, but he's right behind Delta Dragonoid probably in like terms of awesomeness. All right, guys, and now we're going on to New Vestroya. So in New Vestroya, Drago gets a different look, a different evolution. If you say he evolves into Neo Dragonoid. So this is the translucent Neo Dragonoid, part of my uh, New Vestroya translucent set where I collect all the translucent versions of the main characters. Uh, so this is what he looks like when you check him out. He has that yellow horn, so I guess it kind of adapted from Infinity Dragonoid, which I love. Uh, really pops out and super nice. Pyrus symbol there, and then all these like normal Pyrus kind of like bronze colors in there. Super cool. We kind of lost that um, cool like lava effect that Delta has, but still really awesome. And uh, yeah, I got a little diamond there. Pretty cool. Uh, and then he's got a couple manual parts. You have to pop the feet open, and then the horns come later. So we'll go ahead and pop them open. And then go ahead and pop the horns up. 
All right, do a little spin. So this is probably one of the most popular forms of Drago. This is probably the most recognizable besides the regular Dragonoid that I showed in the beginning of the video. Uh, yeah, so um, you probably recognize this rather well. He's even got yellow hands, which is cool. He's uh, 575 Gs, which is kind of like an off number. You know, you kind of see like, like there's some back down that have like 515, which I think is really weird, but 575 is such like an oddly specific number. It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, but I do like that he has these like little wing things right here that fold. You can close those in and then pop them back out and then just the wings here. And other than that, there's not much going on, but it's super cool to know that um, there are different versions of this one. So like there is a, a, a regular red instead of the translucent and there's also a vortex version that spins uh, similar to some Bakugan like um, Vortex Percival and then the Vortex Cross Dragonoid, which I'm about to get to, um, that do spin, which is super neat. Yeah, so um, this is just like, this, unfortunately the translucent does not spin, and it, um, I wish it, I kind of wish it did, because that would be kind of cool, but to my knowledge, there is no translucent pirate dragon like that spins. Uh, yeah, so still pretty cool, and uh, a great background to have in the collection. He closes easy, feet close, and then this, and then the horns close, and then yeah, you shut him, oh, wings go first, my bad. Um, and then he also was relatively inexpensive. I think, I can't remember how much I paid. I think I paid like, I, I paid for him in a bundle with another Bakugan. And I think I spent like 20 something on him. I think, I want to say 24, but I'm not sure. Um, but you can get these translucent ones relatively cheap. I would say anywhere between like 12 to 20 something dollars. Uh, if you're lucky, if you're really lucky, you'll get a cheap, like a cheap one um so they shouldn't be too hard to find again they're very popular so i wouldn't expect it to be too hard to find a uh, translucent like this or just a regular for a really good price i've seen them go from like anywhere from below ten dollars to above 20 and then the vortexes sell for a lot lot more closer to 50 um but yeah anything like if it's just a regular that does not spend anything over 20 you're gonna get scammed or it's not worth the price so just look out but yeah all right, guys, and now we're on to my favorite Bakugan of the Drago line. So this is a Pyrus Translucent Cross Dragonoid. Um, this guy's very rare. He comes as a, I guess it's like a collector's edition of the Japanese version of Bakugan Defenders of the Core for the DS. I believe that's right. I think it's right. If I read everything correct and did my research right, that's, that's good information. Um, but he's very... Rare because he's like a collector's edition, only released in Japan, and uh, I believe like in that the the Defenders of the Core, you could get multiple different um, like figurines, and then this was one you could get out of it. So this is only Bakugan you could get. The other ones were like figurines of Bakugan, um, which is really neat. And I actually have a figurine so I can show you. So this is like what the Bakugan figurines look like. It's like I, I have a Prius, but this is not what you'd get out of the DS thing, but it would look like this instead of like an actual ball. So like you wouldn't get this out of the Defenders of the Core. It'd be something different. I can pull up a picture, but it'd be something kind of similar to this. And um, yeah, so like I think one of the things you could get out of this was this. Um, and I think it was like, it wasn't completely random. I believe it was labeled on the box. But there's like a set amount of these, so that's why it's so cool. Um, I got him internationally. I found him uh, from a seller in Mexico who shipped him over to me. It took him about a month to get to my house. Um, so it was definitely a long wait, and I was really nervous something would happen during like shipping, but nothing did. Uh, yeah, I paid $100 for him, plus the shipping, which was like 30 bucks. but it was bundled with my Minx Elfin, so... Not too bad, but um, still a, a ton of money for this, which I don't know. In hindsight, I feel like I could have got a little cheaper, but I'd say $100 is about solid, but the shipping just made it a little outrageous for me. But uh, yeah, I want to talk about him because he's super cool. Uh, so you can't open this one all the way until after it's deployed, which is uh, a bit unfortunate, but I think you can pop just this horn out, but I'm not even going to bother doing that yet. I want to talk about him because he's such he's in great condition aside from like the the magnet guard and then my pirate symbol having a small scratch if you can see that it's in like basically perfect condition um it even feels like it's in good condition which is like incredible 
Uh, yeah. So I want to go ahead and drop him. Uh, he does spin. He's a vortex, so you will get to see a spin. And I will do some like slow mo at the end, so we can try and get some cool like cool shots of it. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and pop him open. All right. And uh, yeah, he does spin as you see. I'll go ahead and pop out his feet. And uh, yeah, horn comes out. And another horn's in the back, just like Neo. Super cool. Uh, the one thing I like about this Bakugan is like his feet here are like double jointed. So he's got like a full foot. And then this part is adjustable, which is kind of neat. Um, and then if I can get him to like sit right. <laughs> he wants to spin. There we go. Yeah, so you can see that this line really likes to keep that yellow, which is awesome. I'm a big fan of the yellow. I'll go ahead and do a spin for you guys so you can see him. Good stuff. Yeah, so um, I like Bakugan that flare out and like this cross dragon would really does that like he looks really large um, Which is super nice and uh, yeah, he's got 580 G's if you can see right there uh, Might be kind of hard. Yeah, but they're right there and uh, he, he kind of likes to spin around a lot <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I, I really am a fan of this Bakugan He's super fun to like play with and like just have at your desk and stuff and just like sit there uh, his head tends to like fly up some. I'm not really sure why that is. It like bends down really low. Like it can bend down like that, like normal. And then it like kind of goes up and then it can go way up, which is kind of annoying when you're trying to display them or whatever. But it's, I mean, it's not the end of the world, obviously. Um, yeah, so he closes up easy. Just pop the feet and uh, close the horns. Uh, I close his head first, which I believe is what you do. And then lock in his tail in the back. Which sometimes doesn't lock, like you see mine's not locking there. Kind of frustrating, you have to like pop the head back out. And then click it, so it's a little bit difficult. And then wings, and then these bottom wings as well. And then boom, sealed. He sometimes has some trouble staying closed. But after a couple like presses, he's usually pretty good to go. Yeah, and I'll do another spin just in real time for you guys. I don't even know if he spun that time. <laughs> All right, guys, and last on the list is Helix Dragonoid. Um, yeah, so this guy is translucent. He's in a little bit of rough shape, unfortunately. Um, I think shipping really did a number on him. I shipped him from the Netherlands, and um, as you can see, like sometimes his wing kind of opens. Um, but I shipped I, I shipped him from the Netherlands, and he got to the U.S. incredibly fast. It was like maybe maybe a week, maybe like a week, maybe like maybe eight days i'm not sure but it shipped incredibly fast i was very shocked um so yeah he's a, a translucent helix dragonoid this is like from the dna line so he's got like this code that's useless now but used to be uh working uh yeah so he's not um he's just not in the best condition unfortunately <laughs> but his horns pop out um and i mean everything works it's just loose uh, you can see all this yellow. They, we kept the yellow uh, going in. And we have an orange horn instead. I like the yellow horns on the back. Kind of cool to note. Um, yeah. So Helix has um, some interesting things about him that I want to get into when we open him. Um, so we're going to pop his feet open. And uh, he's already kind of trying to open. But I'll go ahead and open him just so you guys can see. Get a full, like, cool effect. Yeah. So his horns pop out, and then he has these hands that move as well. Um, so I'll kind of give him a spin. Yeah. So uh, Helix is 720 Gs. I think he might be my strongest, or he's it's like, I have two that are 720 Gs. I'm not sure, but he's definitely up there on the list. And uh, yeah. So he's got these cool hands that move, which are kind of annoying at times. I'm not really a fan of this. Uh, this guy is technically from the third season of the show. Um, he was released with the third season, but he's in the second season, which is why I collected him. And um, yeah, just like, I don't know. I, there's He's starting to look too much like a human, I guess, like humanoid, which I'm not a fan of. I like the dragons to be looking like dragons. But um, he's in the second season, which this is why I got him. 
And uh, so he has a couple different features. Um, so he can hold battle gear. I've been looking for a translucent jet core because that's what's in the second season, but I have not found one. I've been looking for a while and I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't have it, but I would like to have it. But you can hold battle gear by just pressing his wings back like this. And um, as you can see, they're much flatter. And then you kind of like, um, if I can get him on there, kind of like lean his head forward. And then there's a metal piece right there that um, will deploy the battle gear as well as these pegs hold it down. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but mine also has trouble kind of like getting back into place. It's really difficult to close them because he's so, I guess he's just old. I don't know. I was told by the seller he was in good condition. And I, I even messaged him and he said that it was in good condition when it left. But I guess shipping did something to him or either the guy just like sold me a bad one. But um, I'm not too like mad about it because these guys are really tough to find. Helix himself is very easy to find and also relatively cheap. But translucent is very, very, very hard to find for some reason. Um, I got this one specifically for $38. Um, I've had people try and sell me them for like 80 which is ridiculous. Never buy a Bakugan like this type for $80. That is a ripoff. Um, I would say I spent I spent 38 and I feel like, I mean, I guess I technically got it for 28 because uh, the seller gave me a refund because he was in like poor condition, which I really appreciate. So, I mean, anything in the 30s, I would say is, is, is okay in like my book. Um, but I mean, I was trying to be sold one for 80 and I was just like, no, that's not happening. So be careful if you're looking for one, uh, don't get like ripped off. Uh, yeah. So, um, he's, I mean, he's okay. He's, he's pretty cool and it's just neat to have him in the line. I'm not a fan of like this part because it's supposed to be the full chest, but there's like a spring here, which kind of like beats the purpose. Uh, yeah, but he closes easy. Well, mine doesn't, but you know how it is. Head goes in, or not. <laughs> Head goes in, hands go back, and you gotta try and get the wings in. All right, um, I don't know if you guys saw all that because it was really sucky to get together, uh, but he is in ball form, <laughs> finally. Um, he also has these like weird rivets which i don't like but i mean it's what whatever it, it, go back down yeah he's um he's in he's hurting but uh yeah so that's helix dragon Wing. pretty cool um i wish i had the jet core with it but again not the end of the world uh yeah all right guys so that is it for all the dragos from the first and second seasons hope you enjoyed if you did uh feel free to leave a like drop a comment and of course ask me questions let me know what you think comment what your favorite dragonoid is i'd love to know uh peace out